Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm really excited because I am finally playing with my ColourPop Hocus Pocus Coven Collection, I believe it's called. Uh, so I got the whole collection and I'm really excited to start using it. I just took everything out of the box. It was all really well bubble wrapped and everything. I was a little concerned because there is a candle in the collection and usually I always get at least one broken item when I order from Colourpop but I am happy to say that nothing was broken this time. So yeah, first let's just talk about the candle because I want to put it in my background. So this is the box. It says, who dares to light the black flame candle? I'm obsessed with it. So actually, this is a product from Soul Body, which is ColourPop's sister brand. They make like body products and I guess they make candles now. Um, but yeah, so if you're not familiar with the ColourPop Hocus Pocus collabs, they did one last year, but it didn't really, there was something about it that I didn't like. I can't really put my finger on it. Maybe it was like the packaging. This one is more fun and colorful and I like the imagery better for some reason but it is like official Disney Hocus Pocus um, imagery I guess you would say. So I really love the purple and the orange and look even the inside is so like detailed and nice and I have to say this candle actually smells amazing. Um, so this is what it looks like, black flame candle, like this, and on the back it says the same as on the packaging, who dares to light the black flame candle, and yeah, it actually kind of looks like, yeah, it's definitely purple. In person, it looks kind of like grey, but as you can see when I hold it in the light, it's actually a purple candle. And it smells amazing. I don't know if it says, does it say what the scent is? No. But I, there's definitely like cinnamon in there. There's something spicy about it and I really love how it smells. Yeah, it doesn't say anything really. It just says like what all of candle packaging says, like trim the wick before burning, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, so I'm actually just going to light this now with my <laughs> barbecue lighter. It's been lit. So let me put this back here next to my skeleton candle. I mean, you can't really see it, but I can and it looks really cute. <laughs> okay, so that's the candle. I don't even want to throw this away. It's so cute. Look at the sides. The Sanderson sisters on both sides and yeah, I'm obsessed. Um, okay, another non-makeup item that came in this collection. This is almost like the whole reason I wanted this collection, which was for this. This is um, the I Shall Always Be With You hand mirror. Oh my god, I love it. Look how cute. I love it. Um, so maybe I'll use this. I don't usually use mirrors like this when I'm filming because I have a big mirror right here. But actually my might... I don't know. I don't want to cover my face, you know. But it's a really nice mirror. Nice quality. Um, and it's not like super heavy but it just you know it feels nice so cute with binks on it so there's the mirror so the rest is makeup um but there's no blush in this collection which usually there's blush in color pop collections but not this one there's just the eyeshadow palette which i'll show you um a little face stamp that's a spider which is fun for Halloween 
Um, there's a Super Shock Shadow Trio and three um, Fresh Kiss Lip Creams, which I think are a new product for ColourPop. So I already have um, just foundation on. I didn't do my blush yet because I don't really know what the end product is going to look like. So I'll do my blush after. But I guess we'll just start with the eyes. So this is the Witching Hour palette. So cute. It has the um, the shade names on the back in little cat heads, which is also a nice touch. And this is a pressed powder palette, it's called. It has the same like inside packaging even, like the candle. And the actual packaging looks just like the outside packaging. And this is actually like a heavy palette for a ColourPop palette. And it's because of the mirror. The mirror is actually like really thick and heavy. So it is a nice mirror with the little, the sisters here. And it says, I put a spell on you. There, you can see it better. So cute. And these are the shades. I love this. I don't know, I, I saw a lot of people saying they didn't like the palette. Like it, it didn't, I don't know, look boring or something. But this to me, if you saw my fall video, this is a fall palette because it has purple and green. So automatically it's a fall palette to me. And I just think it really like represents the packaging and the like feel of the movie, which is obviously a Halloween movie. So to me, I really like how this looks. I actually thought last year's was more like just a random palette that could have came out at any time of year and they just put Hocus Pocus on it. Whereas this one I feel is more like a theme and I think it's really cute. And for me, this is gonna be a palette that I can use on its own because it has a light, cream shade here and like some um, transition shades so yeah and a light shimmer shade so I'm really excited about this actually I just don't really know what I'm gonna do today I obviously want to do something fun with the colors I just don't know if I want to mix the purple and the green maybe I should yeah yeah I think I will okay I've decided. So I also put my Urban Decay primer potion on because I always do so just to keep things consistent. So like I just mentioned there's this like light cream shade but it's actually a bit deeper for a shade that I would put like all over like up to the brow bone so I'm just going to use it pretty much all over except like right here because I want to that area to be highlighted. Yeah, so that is like a bit deeper than like a lid setting shade for me, but it's still good to use as my first, you know, shade that I put down to help blend the other ones. I think what I want to do next just to deepen the crease a little. Oh, that shade by the way was called All Hallows Eve and it had a little moon in it, which is really cute. Um, but now I'm going to go in with the shade Moon is Round right here and keep that more like in the crease itself. So I'll probably use this shade later also to blend out because uh, I'm going to go in with this deep purple called Hello Billy. So with this denser brush, I'm going to go in with Hello Billy. I'm kind of going lightly with this because honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> and I want to get the green in too somehow. So let's just test how this blends because everyone always says matte purples are the hardest shades to make this is actually blending really easily i'm not really like 
being very precise with this because I'm going to put shimmer over most of it but it's just to get like the depth down and I really didn't go in with a lot of product either and it's very pigmented already so I think what I'm gonna do yeah I think I want to kind of do a halo eye but I don't really know if it's gonna work because the two shades I want to use are kind of the same depth and in, for halo eye you usually need like something very bright in the center but we'll see later. Anyway this video is just me testing this out um, but I want to go in with the purple shimmer shade which is called Twist the Bones. This one here looks really pretty. So I'm going to try and do that with a brush first. Okay, yeah, it seems to be picking up well on the brush. So let me go from the outside. It's really pretty. Pretty much putting this everywhere except the center. I really like it already. It has almost like I think it looks like pink glitter, so it's really like multi-dimensional. And then I think I'm going to just use the same brush because I really like this brush for shimmer and go in with the green shimmer which is called Circle of Salt, this one. That looks really pretty, like an emerald green. And I'm going to put that in the middle. And then to blend this on the edges, I'm going to go back in with Moon is Round. This is a nice, like, camel brown. And I love this shade with purple together. I think it goes really nicely. Back in with the matte purple, Hello Billy, because I lost some of that. When I put the shimmer on top, that shade is so painted. <laughs> like I'm trying to use a light hand, but it's like going really far. Okay, so it looks pretty crazy right now, but I think <laughs> um, it'll come together. I do want the center to be more... So I have like a pop of brightness so I think what I want to do is just go in with the shade 300 years and maybe just with my finger just like tap that center whoa yeah okay <laughs> That shade is actually pretty pigmented and it's almost just like covering the green but I kind of like how it looks. I think on the bottom I just I don't want to do too much. Do I? Or do I want to do the same thing but on the bottom? Okay maybe yeah. <laughs> yeah I do. So I'm going back in with Hello Billy. On the outer corner and on the inner corner. Maybe if I just do the bottom with mattes it would look kind of cool because I really want to use this shade but with the cat in it it's called Fur Black is Black and I think it complements like the green on the lid but I'm gonna do it just in the center here. Yeah that's very deep. But it blends really easily. And then with uh, Moon is Round, I just want to help to blend that out a bit. And just, I just blend it a bit more up here too. 
so that it kind of, you know, all goes together. This is like a smoky Halloween eye. Um, and then for my inner corner, I do want to lighten it up with 300 years. And on the brow bone up here. Does it look like I have a black eye? <laughs> a little. But I think that when I put mascara and everything, it will come together. And this is kind of like a Halloween look, so yeah, that's my excuse. Um, but yeah, let me do the other eye off camera. And we'll come back to oh. What am I doing? I totally forgot about the Super Shock shadows. So let's look at those first. So it is a trio. It's like a little box like this. Super cute. Do they have names? Look at this packaging. I love it. And then each one, like this one has a moon on it, a skull, and an eye. This is what they look like. This one says, I smell children, <laughs> but the shade is forever bewitching. It's a su super shock <laughs> shadow, ultra glitter, and it's purple, like this. That's really pretty, but I don't need to put any more purple on my eye right now. This one with the eye says I put a spell on you and the shade is to be yours and beautiful again this one looks like a pretty like peachy tone this is also an ultra glitter I think they all are actually this one with the skull says I am beautiful and the shade is dost thou comprehend I love it yeah also an ultra glitter this one's more orangey copper. Do I want to put any of these just for the fun of it, you know? Let's just put a little of this one. Um, to be yours and beautiful again, the light peachy one. Just like to have some glitter on the top. Ooh, I like that. Okay, yes. So let me do this again on the other eye. And we'll come back to do the rest. Okay, I'm back. I think I really like how it turned out. I was a little worried <laughs> for a second. Um, but I think it's because I don't normally do like dark shadows on my lower lash line. But I think it, um, I think it came together. And I really like how it shines with the super shock shadow that I put on top so yeah I'm happy with this I also put blush and highlighter on and obviously mascara and brows while I was gone I think I'm gonna do the spider last but I do want to use it I'm just worried like I'm worried about it <laughs> but let's do the lips and I think I'm gonna swatch all three shades for you guys because there's like a gradient there's a really light nude a like vampy burgundy shade ish I think and a black so let's start so just to show you the packaging up close there's a package for every sister I don't remember the order so let me just pull them out okay so the first one is with Sarah on it and the shade is called Hello Boys. Super cute. Um, so like I said before, I think this is a new formula for ColourPop. It does not smell like anything really. Um, yeah, this is the black one. So from what I understand, these are like liquid lipsticks, but they don't dry down. Let me see if it actually says anything on there. 
No, it just says fresh kiss lip cream. So I actually have no idea. So that was Hello Boys. Then the one with Rin Winifred on it is called Tonight We Fly. So this is the purple burgundy. Mm, I guess it's more purple than anything. That's a really nice shade for fall. And then the one with Mary on it is called Calming Circle. So this is the nude packaging. This looks like a cool tone nude. I think it's going to be quite light on me. Hmm. Is it cool tone? I can't really tell anymore. Maybe not. That might actually be really nice. But I'm going to use this one first, obviously, because probably the other three will stain a bit. So let's start with this one. Calming circle. Um, so the applicator on this is just like a pointed doe foot. Oh, it's very moussey. Ooh. That actually feels really nice and comfortable. And yeah, I don't think these dry down because the first black, the black one that I swatched is still looking creamy. So that's really like a peachy nude on me and I actually really like it with this eye look but we have to try the other ones. That's really nice. Probably um, if I wasn't wearing such a dramatic eye I would use a lip liner with a shade like this just to like contour my lips more but that's actually really nice. I was kind of scared that it would be too like concealer lip on me, but it, it's not at all. So I'm really happy with that. But let's try the purple. These feel really like slippery on the lips. They definitely won't be transfer proof, but most comfortable feeling lip products aren't, so. <laughs> Go in with the purple one. Tonight we fly. Normally I'd wear lip liner when using very deep shades, but I'm going to wipe this off, so. Mm, I'm scared. Yeah, this is definitely purple, not burgundy. I like the applicator because it makes it easier to define. Okay, I did not do my lip line evenly, but just to show you guys what this looks like, I love this. I love this shade. So yeah, these have, they're creamy and like they look shiny, but they almost have like that powdery, soft, matte kind of feel, but with shine. That's a really nice color. I love that one too. Actually, all these lip colors I would wear with this eye look, so they did well with um, pairing the lip colors with the palette, I feel. Yeah, so that definitely stained a bit. But I actually don't mind that in a lip product because as it wears off, it won't look so weird. Yeah, that's stained <laughs> quite a bit actually. Okay, and then the last one is Hello Boys. So this is the one I'm going to wear because it's the black one. And I don't have a black lip liner, obviously. <laughs> so. Let's just hope for the best. Wow. 
out. <laughs> These are really nice. Like they're not streaky or anything. Especially for like a black and that really deep purple. I love it. It's obviously not, it's kind of messy, but um, like you can kind of see the purple underneath. But obviously, if I was wearing this out, I wouldn't have put three lip products on before that one. But that's really nice. Yeah, it has like a, a slippery texture, but it does. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like it's going to go all over the place. So I'm really happy with that. And yeah, look, the swatches are still shiny so definitely there's no dry down on those just gonna use this little brush to make sure i get in the corners because with the black you that will be very obvious if i don't cover everything and hopefully i don't get it all over my teeth <laughs> so the last thing is the spider stamp which Obviously, most people aren't going to be wearing on your average day, but I thought it was a cute addition um, because of that scene where Sarah eats a spider. That's what I thought about when I saw this. I've actually never tried one of these stamp things before. And I'm kind of not sure where I want to put it. I want to put it right here or like here. No, I think because I put the black lipstick, it won't. Because I kind of wanted to put this like on my lip, like half on my lip, like it was coming out of my mouth. <laughs> but maybe not. Maybe just up here would be cute. So let's just try it. Okay, so I pressed too hard. Cause I got like the circle around it too, but it's cute for Halloween. I'm just gonna let that dry a bit and I'll clean it up with some makeup remover. Okay, just clean that up a bit and it was actually really easy to take off. So I'm not really sure what like the dry down is on this, but like actually you can see it's a little spider. I think it's really cute. That'd be really cute for Halloween. Like if you want to be a witch or like a spider queen or something, you could put that like coming out of your mouth. That would be really cool. Yeah, I just don't know how it's gonna dry down. I'll leave a update at the in the description box, by the way, if you don't know. Um, I always link everything in the description and mention what I used so always check that if you're curious about something but yeah I'll leave an update as to like if it's smeared or if it was easy to remove I'm assuming it's kind of like a liquid liner formula so it should dry down but yeah I think it's really cute for Halloween so that's everything in the collection. I'm really happy with everything. The shadows performed really well. They were super pigmented, um, especially since I use like the two like really deep mattes and they performed really well. I had no issues. I didn't have any fallout either. Considering I also used the two deep shimmer shades, there was no fallout and there's no glitter like anywhere on my face. So I'm really happy with this. And honestly, you don't have to do like a Halloween with this pa a Halloween look with this palette, obviously. Cause like basically if you cover up these four, this is like your basic everyday browns and you know, a gold here so it's pretty versatile even if it's not halloween season but
But I'm really happy I have this. This is, again, if you guys have seen my other ColourPop videos, I basically only buy the really nostalgic ColourPop collabs. I don't buy like their regular makeup, but the collabs usually get me. Um, so this one is no exception. I'm really happy about the packaging too. It just feels like this would have cost a lot more than it did. Even when Josh <laughs> saw my package, he was like, how much did you spend on that? And I was like, it's ColourPop, don't worry. <laughs> it's drugstore price. Um, and it actually came really fast too um, for it being shipped from LA to Canada and we have such terrible shipping lately. But I was really happy I got this so that I could put this video up before Halloween. Um, but yeah. If you guys have any questions about anything else, um, if you want to see maybe another look with the palette, I could do that too. But yeah, I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a like. Just making sure <laughs> there's no black lipstick on my teeth. And there is. Um, but yeah, give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.